I be naughty, but I want to smell nice. You know what I mean? <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Fantasy. I do videos on makeup, hair, fashion, the whole nine yards, a little bit of vlogs, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Um, I hope that by the end of this video, you decide to join the Fantasy family, check out my channel, and look at my other videos. Today's video is going to be about my winter perfume must-haves like these are the perfumes that i wear that i live by but before we get into my selections make sure to like comment and subscribe go ahead and just hit the subscribe button first and then as you watch the video don't forget to like and at the end of it make sure that you leave a comment okay so now we're on to the winter perfume collection my go-to's when it comes to winter time the first thing that I'm going to start with is vanilla 28. I do not have my full size because I ran out, but I do have my little travel size um, with me. Vanilla 28 by Kayali. Um, the juice of this was actually a little bit clearer. It was closer to this, but with time and because of the oil concentrate, the juice color does change. However, this... It just, it literally smells like vanilla. Like, if you want a vanilla, it smells like vanilla. Like, it's, I don't know what else to smell. Like, what else is going to smell like besides vanilla? Like, it literally lives up to its name. The notes in this is vanilla, of course. Orchid, jazz, vanilla orchid, jasmine. And the middle notes is brown sugar and tonka bean. And then the base notes is amber, musk, and am, amber, musk, amberwood, and patchouli this just smells so good like it smells sweet it smells gourmand it smells delicious like when you wear it it smells like you're like wearing a cake like literally like i just finished baking a cake and the essence of that cake is still on me you know what i mean like when you know when you're cooking and you can smell the food on you it smells like i just finished making a sweet ass sugar filled cake and I smell like it like I don't know like it smells like sugar it smells like candy not candy it's not candy but like sugar vanilla ice cream cake cupcake that's what it smells like pound cake like cake all types of cake besides chocolate cake it just smells so good because whenever I go on vacation I like to carry this because this is something that I do enjoy in the winter time. Like winter time, I love to smell a little bit more gourmand and sweet. However, in summer, like when I go on vacations, I like to mix this with my Soleil Blanc by Tom Ford. Um, Soleil Blanc is more of like a coconut smell, but these two together, the coconut and the and the vanilla, scrumptious baby scrumptious the next one that we have is the la vie et belle but this is not your regular girl okay this is la vie et belle intense la parfum what it says what is it at the bottom it says le le air de parfum intense okay this is the intense version when i first found out about la vie et belle i think i worked in zara maybe 2017 ish is when i first started wearing la vie et belle 2017 2016 those that was like when i first found out about la vie et belle and it has been my girl since okay this one has been something that i just cannot stray away from i've strayed away from a lot of perfumes because i smell it too much and I just get tired of the scent. But this is one that I have not been able to stray away from. However, I do enjoy the intense version of her more than the regular version. The regular version is nice and sweet, but the intense just has that extra punch that you need. And it lasts a little bit longer than the La Vie Belle. Even though the original version, I used to OD on it all the time. So that was, it will always stay on me. But this one, you really don't need that much. As you guys can see, like I wear it a lot. Not that much because I have quite a, a few perfumes um but you don't need that much for it to stay so the notes for this the top notes is pear pink pepper current buds current buds orange bergamot the middle notes is iris tuberose ylang ylang orange blossom jasmine sandback the base notes is whipped cream and hazelnut like it's so it's sweet it's floral it's sweet it's warm, it's spicy, and it's just, it just gives, like, in winter time, I want to smell like candy. Like, I want to smell like a candy cane. I want to, 
<laughs> I was gonna say I want my man to lick me like a candy cane, but that's so crazy. <laughs> Mama, I'm sorry. But uh it just smells so sweet. It smells so good. Like I love just smelling like a tree. Like I'm a tree. You know what I mean? Like I'm a tree. I'm a snack. So I want to smell like a snack. And I want to smell like the sweetest snack. So you always got that little in the back of your, the back right here. You know when you haven't like ate, ate something in a long time. And then when you like bite into it. It has that little tingling right there. I want to be that tingle. I want to be that tingle. Okay. So that's what this gives me. This is something that I will always, always repurchase. It don't matter how many years has passed. I will always repurchase. I don't care how many people smell like this. Nobody's wearing like I do. Period. Okay. Nobody wear it like I do. <laughs> and that's just that. If you're trying to go up, it's not that expensive either. I think it's like a hundred and something dollars. Let me not say it's not that expensive. For a niche perfume or for a perfume that has as longevity, like wear longevity as this, it is not that expensive. However, if you want, I think they have a smaller size. This is actually the smaller version of it. This is a 2.5 FL fluid ounces. They have like a 1.7, I believe. So if you want to get the 1.7, you could go ahead and get that. Um, I will always recommend to try to get, if they have a travel size and you've never smelled it before, try to get a travel size. Because I don't think that Sephora even does like the little samples the way they used to. But try to get a, a travel size. See how it wears on your skin. See how you like it. Because you may like it when you first spray it. But then when you put it on your body, you may not even really like it like that. So try to get a travel size. But this is this is a hit and it's always gonna be a hit okay period now the next mama that we got is miss big mama like this is big mama okay this is big mama she's a legendary mama she is a well-known mama and the mama i'm talking about is baccarat rouge 540 extract okay extract baccarat rouge I have a love and hate relationship with this perfume, okay? Like, let me just be honest. Like, I have a love and hate relationship with this perfume. It's one of the more expensive perfumes that I have in my collection. I love it because it just smells really, really good. I'm not going to take that away from the fact that it smells how it smells. It smells delicious. I have a love and hate relationship with this because I smell this everywhere. I go to the airport. Somebody got Baccarat. I go to the laundromat. Somebody got Baccarat. You go get your hair done. Like the hair just got Baccarat. Like you're in a taxi and the Uber driver is wearing Baccarat. Everybody has Baccarat. Like everybody smells like money and Baccarat nowadays. Everybody. And it's just, I don't mind smelling like somebody else, but it just, when I smell something too much, it makes me tired of it. And I don't want to smell this beautiful perfume so much to the point where I get tired of it. I don't even wear it that much anymore because I smell it everywhere. Like literally everywhere I go, I smell this. But it's definitely something that is worth mentioning because regardless of how many times I smell it, I still enjoy this. And I love, I love to layer my perfumes, like I said before, just so that I can stray away from smelling like everybody else. Like you will smell the Baccarat, of course, because it is such a high oil concentrated perfume. And this is the extract and not the regular perfume. The extract is much more intense. It is much more potent. It is much sweeter. So wearing too much of this, you don't need to. A little bit of this will literally overpower anything that you wear. But having those hints of those other perfumes kind of makes you have your own unique scent. And like I said, I, I always buy perfumes that have, not always, but I gravitate towards perfumes that have similar scents anyways. So no matter what, I kind of always smell the same, but different at the same time. So going ahead and mentioning these notes, which I feel like at this point you guys should already know, cause I'm pretty sure this is in everybody's perfume video, perfume collection, like everybody has Baccarat or has a dupe for Baccarat or has something, okay? So the notes for this, this is the top notes is bitter almonds and saffron the middle notes is egyptian jasmine setter and the base I, I didn't know if it was cedar or a setter um and the base is ambergris ambergris woody notes musk that's what it has woody notes 
And when I saw that, I was just like, why does it say what it, like, why can't you tell me what exactly the wood, Woody Notes is? But that's just people. They never want to, like, perfumers never really want to give away too much. There's a lot of perfumers. Like, even the notes that you mentioned in perfumes, a lot of times that's not always all that it is. You know what I mean? It, sometimes it has a little bit of extra in it. And if you have somebody, like a perfumer or a nose, like the nose is the person that makes the perfume, if they have a very good nose, they can pick up on what type of notes is in it. Like, you know what I mean? Like, regardless, if they only give you three, they can pick up on it. But this is one of those perfumes that when you wear it, you're gonna get a com you're gonna get a compliment. It's sweet, it's sugary, it's that almonds is there. It's it's just it's just baccarat. Like I don't I don't have a perfume that smells oh, okay. I do have a couple of perfumes that do kind of smell like it, but not really. It kind of gives me that same like feel that this does, but it's not really that. But I don't. I, before I had this, I didn't know that I had perfumes that smelled like this. But I do have a little bit of. Per, I do have two perfumes I'm gonna mention that familiarizes my nose. Familiarizes with this. I don't even know if that's the right word. But this perfume, honestly, I love it. I haven't smelled Ariana Cro um, Cloud for myself for me to know if it's an actual dupe. But if it is a dupe, go ahead and get it because honestly, everybody wears this. Everybody and their mama has Baccarat Rouge, wants Baccarat Rouge, has testers for Baccarat Rouge, has dupes for Baccarat Rouge. Like, nigga, at this point, we all Baccarat. We are Baccarat Rouge. 540 is the amount of people that wears Baccarat Rouge. 540 people per room. Okay, you go into a party, at least 20 people in that party is wearing Baccarat. I kid you not. You go to a restaurant, at least 50 people in there wear Baccarat. Like, I kid you not. That is definitely this perfume. It's just, it has people in a chokehold. It has people in a chokehold, and that's just that. But it's a perfume that I love. Um, I'm happy to have it in my collection. It smells good. It can get a little bit of over. It can get a little overbearing if you put too much on. That's for me personally, just because I know so many people and I have so many people that wear this around me. So it does get a little overbearing for me, but that's why I always mix and layer my perfumes. So that way, I never get tired of my perfumes because I'm always layering it. I just always smell this. Now the next one that we have is the star of the show, the star. I say star just because of the bottle, but um, the star of the show, which is not really, she's not really the star, but it's one of my favorite perfumes that I have that I purchased, and I'm so happy that I bought it, and I want to buy it again. And I actually got her for a discount. Okay, this is my second time buying her, and I got her for a discount, and I'm gonna put you guys on after I talk about the notes. So this one is Greenwich Village by Bond Number no. Nine. The notes in here, the top notes is lychee, cassis, is it? Cassis, lychee, cassis, mandarin orange. The middle notes is peony, peony, <laughs> water lily, jasmine, and the base notes is ambroxan, prol proline, or praline, musk, vanilla, and oak moss. It smells like, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, it smells like a fresher version of Baccarat. Like, I didn't know, like, a, Baccarat is something that I picked up for myself later on in my collection, and I always used to wear this, and that's when I bought Baccarat. My boyfriend was like, don't you already have Baccarat? I'm like, no, I don't, but he was talking about this because I always used to wear this. This smells like a fresher version of Baccarat, and I like this, honestly, better than I like Baccarat because... It wears on the skin better. It's not, it's sugary, it's, it's, it's sweet, but it's not as sweet as Baccarat is. Like, and it's, it gives you that sense of like, you're wearing Baccarat, but you're not. Like, it smells like it, but it's not, you know what I mean? Like, and that's what I like to wear. However, when you put the two together, it's a whole nother, like, it's, because they smell and they favor each other, when you put them together, it makes a whole new scent, like a whole new perfume. Like, I don't even know how to, like, describe it, but it just smells delicious. Like, you smell edible. Like, I don't, I don't know. That's just what I like to smell like in the wintertime. If you don't like to smell like that, that's okay. But I like to smell edible. I like to smell like candy. I like to smell sweet. I like to be, like, I be naughty, but I want to smell nice. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm not even, I want to smell nice type of vibe. Like, that's legit how I feel. And this, 
retails for like 400 and something dollars and that's the price that I paid for the first time however I don't want to tell you guys I feel like I just gonna make this thing run out and sell out and I'm gonna be tight but I love y'all you can get this for half of the price at Walmart <laughs> Walmart sells perfumes if you guys did not know you can buy this for half of the price I think it's like $226 at Walmart. It smells like Baccarat. It's not as expensive as Baccarat Even though the original price is a little bit more expensive than Baccarat and Honestly, what is this? This is 3.3 fluid ounces. They're about the same. This is 2.4 fluid ounces retailing for about like 450 Okay about 450 500 after taxes. This is 3.3 fluid ounces and the retail price is about like $400. However, you can get it for like 226 on Walmart. Honestly, if you can't get this, just get this because baby, they smell very similar. It's not a dupe, but they smell very similar. Like you get you you get the essence of baccarat when you smell this. Now, the last one is another honorable mention and the reason why it's an honorable mention is because when I smell this, I also smell Baccarat and it is Burberry Her. Burberry Her, it gives me Baccarat but it doesn't. Okay, so I don't want to sit here and say like it, it smells like Baccarat but it just has that essence of Baccarat. I don't know what it is about it that gives me that but I feel like it's because it's a little fruity. It's very fruity and all the fruitiness together it gives it such a sweet scent that it reminds me of Baccarat just off rip but then when it settles down it does have a little bit of a different sense um the base notes and the true essence of how this smells is different than when you what you smell when you first first spray it. so yeah when you first spray i don't know actually when you first first spray you actually just smell alcohol and surprisingly i'm surprised this is not an air the toilets because you mainly smell alcohol when you first spray it. You gotta wait for that thing, that baby to dry down, okay? Because when you first. But, yeah. When you when I first smell it, it gives me Baccarat, but then at the same time, it doesn't. You know what I mean? So, this is a perfume that I would wear, like, in the daytime. And the reason why I say this is an honorable mention, because if I want to smell like Baccarat, I'll just wear this. This is much cheaper. I think I got this for, like, $75 and I also got this from Walmart. I think it was like 75. I think it was probably like 50. I gotta check. I think I got it for like $50 from Walmart because I didn't want to buy it for retail price because I was just like, I want to try it. But if I don't like it, I'm gonna be tight that I spent like a hundred and something dollars. But if I only spent like $50, I'm okay with that. But before we get into all of that, let me go ahead and tell you guys about the notes. So the notes, she got a lot. She got a lot in this little juice right here. So the top notes is strawberry, raspberry, blackberry, sour ch cherry, black currant, mandarin orange, and lemon. The middle notes is violet, jasmine, and the base is musk, vanilla, cashmere, and oak moss. Woody notes, do you guys already see here the reason why these three perfumes remind me of each other so they all all three of them have similar notes in them so Burberry Her and Greenwich Village both have mandarin orange and oak moss in it which I feel like is the reason why it reminds me of Greenwich Village and it also has woody notes in it which the same woody notes and musk is also in Baccarat 540 extract which is the reason why it reminds me of baccarat 540 like they just all kind of have the same notes that are very close to each other and that's the reason why this just reminds me of those two perfumes so yeah that is the end of my winter collection i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope that you guys got a little bit of of an idea what your girl smells like also another thing that i want to mention is that as you guys noticed i said it before i like perfumes that have very similar scents and the reason why i like perfumes that have similar scents as well is because i like to lay my perfumes so with them having similar scents they work all work well together so i can pick up kayali um deja vu white flower and put it with coffee break and it will work or i could take kayali white flower and put it with um baccarat and it will smell nice like they won't 
they won't off balance each other like they'll just work perfectly together to create a new scent and i just like that i like to have a signature scent so that way i kind of always smell like me but i smell different each time like i it smells like me but not really me so that way like somebody can go and buy coffee break but it won't really smell like me because I, I wear coffee break with something else. However, whenever somebody smells coffee break, they're like, oh, that smells like Fanta. And like, it may not smell exactly like me, but because I wear this a lot, they'll smell them and be like, oh my God, they smell like Fanta. But they'll never smell me and be like, I smell like them because I always layer my perfumes. So they'll smell the Greenwich Village in whatever it is that they're wearing and it'll remind them of me. However, because I layer my perfumes, it kind of, I can't, I don't really smell like nobody else. You know what I mean? And that's the best advice that I can give to somebody is I wouldn't say don't have all of your perfumes smell exactly alike. Like they shouldn't smell alike. But if they have scents that just smell similar, like they have certain notes that are just in there, I just feel like you're always going to kind of have a scent. Like, and it's going to be your unique scent because all of your perfumes kind of have that notes in there. And somebody may be able to pick it up each time you wear it or whatever you know what i mean that's what i got for you guys okay don't forget to like this video okay give it a thumbs up if you guys are interested in any of the perfumes that i have mentioned if you guys have any of the perfumes that i mentioned or have smelled any of the perfumes that i mentioned let me know your thoughts below let me know if you like it if you don't like it if you've been thinking about it let me know if you guys end up buying any of these perfumes go ahead and let me know as well let me know on ig or on down below as well but let me know i want to see i want to see if we have similar palettes if i can bounce ideas off of you if you guys have any perfumes that you think that i will like go ahead and leave those give me those suggestions as well you can leave it down below or hit me up on ig because i do be answering my dms okay period and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one bye